Hello again, and a very happy new year to you. It was 2020 when we last spoke. Uh, I hope you had a good Christmas. Uh, it was a bit of a red letter day yesterday. We managed to secure a supermarket delivery slot, and I managed to secure a, a slot to take all the detritus from Christmas to the local tip. So we're feeling uh, good now. Uh, the weather's not so good. I'm afraid I'm not out on one of my normal walks. We're awaiting Storm Kristoff, which uh, uh, I gather from doing my uh, grandparenting master's course is a character in Frozen, very appropriately. Uh, the local paths and so on are absolute quagmires at the moment. So you find me uh, up in what passes for my art studio. And uh, this is a, a, an image behind me, uh, a painting I did last year. I've been doing a series of environmentally related paintings, and this is a disaster painting, the wreck of the Erica. You may recall uh, the Erica was a, uh, a tanker, I think owned by Total, which sank uh, in the Bay of Biscay in 1999, a rather substandard vessel actually, and uh, caused a huge amount of oil pollution around Brittany. Uh, why am I mentioning this? Well, um, there is a reason. Um, the, the Erica disaster was one of the episodes which led to the EU Directive of 2004 on environmental liability. And I, I think in the context of Brexit, we sometimes overlook the fact that the UK, during its membership of the EU, did actually have enormous influence over the form and content of many directives, including the Environmental Liability Directive. Uh, this changed greatly during the course of drafting under influence of the UK uh, to make it, I think, you know, a much more practical and sensible measure than it would otherwise have been. Uh, now, of course, we lose that, that influence as from our uh, with completion of our withdrawal from the EU. Um, however, uh, the, the EU law does remain relevant under the Trade and Cooperation Agreement, which we saw just before Christmas. Um, I managed to resist the temptation. It wasn't a very strong temptation as temptations go to read it over the Christmas period, but I have looked at it subsequently. And we are having a seminar on it, or webinar rather, uh, in the 39 from 39 series. Uh, next week. So you might like to look up on our website and perhaps consider attending that seminar with myself and others talking about the TCA. Um, but of course, that does contain, as we'll be talking about in our webinar, uh, level playing field provisions. And um, it's sort of quite difficult, I think, at the moment to get our head around what that means for uh, environmental lawyers for the future. It's going to be important but what we do have to bear in mind is that the Trade and Cooperation Agreement does not itself give rise to any private rights in the law. It's not something that environmental groups are going to be able to go along to court uh, to complain about. Uh, and also, of course, it's linked to uh, whether any disparity in the level playing field has an impact on trade. Uh, and, of course, non-compliance with many environmental measures won't necessarily have an impact on trade. That, that will have to be uh, resolved. And I think that could be, you know, quite a, a problematic uh, question for lawyers in the future. Uh, one very interesting issue I think we may canvass in our, our webinar is how this all ties in with the Office of Environmental Protection, which will come into being later this year. And in particular, whether people will be able to complain to the Office of Environmental Protection about breaches of the Trade and Cooperation Agreement. I don't think they can at the moment. Uh, however, uh, it might be a very positive step if they could. Um, that remains, I think, to be discussed. So uh, please do look out for our event. Uh, and uh, if you're interested at all in my uh, art, that's not the objective of um, talking you to, to you today, uh, but you can find lots of examples of it uh, on my Instagram account, Stephen Troman's Art, or indeed on my personal website account, stlaw.co.uk. Um, and um, anyway, uh, look forward to uh, seeing, I hope, a lot of you at the webinar next week. Uh, stay well, uh, look after yourselves, and keep reading that trade and cooperation agreement if you haven't already. Okay, goodbye for now.